saltwater aquariums are home to a variety of life forms, ranging from microscopic bacteria to beautiful coral colonies. And I bet you know all of the creatures in your own tank, right? Well, anytime you introduce live rock, live sand, or even a coral frag from your local fish store, you're probably introducing more to your tank than you think. You'll know what I'm talking about if you ever shine a light in your tank at night. It's teeming with life. Some pleasant and beneficial, and others disturbing and bloodthirsty. Hmm, what's that? I, I don't remember putting that in there. Lurking in that nice coral frag you just placed into your tank is our first species. If you have a fear of the ocean and a fear of spiders, then you'll love these guys. They feed on the flesh of your corals and have a sweet tooth for zoanthids. Get back! Wait, I can't break! They'll make you think twice about not dipping your frags. Our next guest was thriving off the blood of its victims hundreds of millions of years before vampire lore even existed. After adding that new fish to your tank, you notice something doesn't seem right. What's that on its fin? And face? And uh, oh. This lovely specimen is a parasitic isopod, and its favorite pastime is latching onto unsuspecting fish and sucking their blood until they're either full or they completely kill the host. They often go unnoticed in aquariums because they usually drop off of their host when the lights turn on. Let these aquatic vampires serve as a reminder to quarantine all new tank inhabitants. I know what you're thinking, and no, that's not an endoparasitoid extraterrestrial species. That's a bobbit worm. These worms can pull prey into their burrow at 20 feet per second, and they also sport a spring-like retractable jaw sound familiar? That they can use to cut prey in half. And if that's not enough, they can also inject toxins into their prey. Oh Jesus, we're so screwed if it's the Demogorgon. It's not the Demogorgon. <laughs> no, it's not the Demogorgon. It's actually a spaghetti worm. These worms hide their body in the substrate or rockwork and send out long spaghetti-like tentacles from their head to gather food. Despite its creepy appearance, they are actually quite beneficial by eating leftover food and detritus. But if there's an abundance of organic matter in the tank, then they can reproduce quite quickly, so be careful that your tank doesn't get overrun. Meet the mantis shrimp. If you're thinking about hiding, then think again. The eyes of the mantis shrimp are the most complex eyes in the animal kingdom. They can move independently, can accurately judge the distance of objects with just one eye, and have trinocular vision, where each part of the eye has its own specialized function. The top and bottom part of the eye recognizes shapes and motion, while the middle detects colors using 16 different photoreceptor cells. Compare that to a human's three, and you know that this shrimp is able to see colors that a human cannot. So when you're up against the mantis shrimp, there really is nowhere to hide. And if that doesn't make it a deadly predator, the mantis shrimp is also heavily armed. Depending on the species, it might have a spear, or maybe a club. They strike extremely fast, like 50 times faster than the blink of an eye fast, and with the power of a 22 caliber bullet, they can shatter aquarium glass or even split open a human thumb. So why don't you be careful next time you're handling that new piece of live rock? The best way to avoid introducing these horror movie-esque creatures to your tank is to use dry sand, dry rock, dip new corals, and quarantine all new livestock. If you enjoyed this video and want more saltwater aquarium content, then subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you know when I upload a new video. Be sure to check the description for links related to this video, and follow my Twitter and Facebook page for any saltwater scoop updates. Happy Halloween, and happy reefing.